So stoic. Hi, Herc. Full of handsomeness, aren't you? Where's all your goats at? They're over there, Mom, a little further in. Getting every last leaf in Goatville. Here they come. <laughs> Look who's leading the way. That's adorable. They're following the Sprucer. Ouija wants to be in front. Spruce says, no, I'm too fast for you. Hi, guys. Hi, buddy. Yeah. We got something different in store for you today. Switching it up a little bit. Look Hi, Spruce. I love seeing you use that big guy. I worked hard on that. <laughs> to you. You're so cute, Spruce. Love you, buddy. We'll be in there in just a minute. Be right there. They're all so curious. Hey guys, welcome back to KNS Get Out. Shannon, Kyle, we are going to go get our goats out, but we had something delivered today, so we are walking down the driveway to pick it up. That and it's just, it's beautiful. It's a little bit warmer today. Yeah. Uh, I think right now we're in the early to mid 40s. Uh, and I say it's beautiful because it's not 29 or 31. I say it's beautiful because the sun is shining. <laughs> yeah, the wind's not blowing like it has been. But yep. So it's kind of the second day of this. It was a little bit colder yesterday, but it's been pretty nice. Do they tie it too? Oh my gosh. Yeah, they don't want it to blow away. I appreciate them, man, especially after you get to know them. Our delivery folks are pretty good. Now, we accommodate well to them because, you know, you come up the driveway, they usually have a little fear, like, man, if I go up that way, can I turn around? <laughs> so we, we make it available to them to be able to turn around. Also helps to encourage them not to turn around in our grass up here. Yeah, like somebody did yesterday. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And it was a small vehicle. Like, they could have just backed out of the driveway. I know, it doesn't make any standing sense. standing right, whatever. So I'm not griping. Am I griping? I'm griping. I think you're griping. Blue skies. Shining bright. I love it out here. So as you can see, Goatville and all the trees in Goatville are kind of, well, they're losing all their leaves. It's kind of what happens in fall. They all fall. <laughs> and so the goats have a lot to graze on down here, browse, whatever it is. I, I, I'm going to use graze even if it's wrong. And that's great. And with all the visits to the vet and what's going on with Harry and Batman, it's been a very uh, emotional and just kind of stressful few days or however long it's been going. I don't even know. They're all blending Week? together. I don't know. Uh, but we're learning so, so much through these vet visits and the conversations about their health and how their systems work and everything. You might notice I got some drugs in my pocket. Uh, <laughs> those are not malicious drugs. These are actually, this is a shot for Harry. So we're going to administer his shot. Uh, but I think one of the biggest takeaways about their health and everything, you know, we always talk about paying attention to their poo and their pee and stuff. Well, that's because that's a very important system in them. And when that starts to go down, like they just kind of shut it all down. So, you know, through that again, it's how much grain are they getting? Who gets into dog food? That can be a big problem. Uh, what are they eating? How much forage do they get? And ultimately, in all actuality, they could just eat hay and forage. Uh, it would take a lot of hay for eight goats, especially once they're all adults. So we're going to kind of, we're just, we're going to test some things. They cry for grain. They know that's what they want. We know that's what they want, but we're going to just kind of balance it out a little bit. We're going to get them out today, let them graze on more of this before the winter comes and it's all dead or dormant and they don't want it. Uh, yeah, it's been a long uh, few days, but it's been an exhausting few days. They are doing so well at eating their hay, grazing down here, We've been bringing their grain down, but you know, I don't know if we can ultimately cut it out altogether or not. Dad and I are having tons of conversations about it, but yeah, let's go get these guys out, graze them a bit, and we'll uh, get Harry his shot. Shannon's going to do it. Shannon's going to hold him. <laughs> I do not do well with all things. I'm just, I'm not good at it, really, is what it comes you, you down to. You literally not. I don't do well with anything. <laughs> so, um... I don't do well with blood. I don't do well with owies. I'm an empath, so I, I can't even like witness things happening to other people or creatures or hearing it being talked about because I feel their pain for them and it's, it's hard. So I'm gonna hold Harry while Kyle gives him a shot because Kyle's really awesome like that. Well, I, I am, a bit better than me. I'm extremely <laughs> empathetic as well. Everybody's over there crying. Oh, Ouija Ouija. You got to be first to greet today. You did. Yeah, of course. Well, Spruce. Spruce is not far behind ever. 
Hi, Weege. Hi, buddy. Hi, Sprucers. So all the noises they're making right now, it's because they know when they see us, it's typically time for grain. They're not starving, guys. Look at our goats. I mean, you look at any of our goats, none of them go hungry at all. <laughs> um, they're not mad. They're not going to be mad. Yeah, they may show some attitude if you cut grain back, but... They're just vocal. Yeah, they don't know. Ultimately, they have no idea, you know, that grain may not be great for them. Uh, but it's, you know, it's all a balance. It's supplemental. Get them their forage. Build them a goat vill that they always have access to. So, you know, we're doing our best to make it an ultimate goat haven out here. Uh, but as we learn, we got to make changes. They got to adapt and they're doing awesome at it. But as we take the grain away, we're going to see how they really do with it. What do you think about that, Weege? Oh, That's what you think about that. That was rude. Stinker. Goats will be goats. Hi, boys. <laughs> Herc is so busy keeping the blues crew down there. He hadn't even come over here yet. I'm shocked. He's looking at me. Come here, babe. Look at the pallet. Oh my goodness. So he lays underneath that ramp and he guards the entrance back into the pen from Goatville. And this is some of that animosity he's had toward Blue. It still hasn't worked itself out. Oh, Spruce, babe. <laughs> I got a spruce ornament. He says good morning. Hi, buddy. How are you? How are you today? You've got a spruce and I've got Mario Bros jumping on me. A spruce and a Hercules. Hi, buddy. Well, hello. He says, out of my way. I need my mom's attention. They jumped out of his way. <laughs> Hi, Herc. Hi, buddy. Got to get attention from everybody this morning, huh? Hey, buddy. Love you. I feel you, Coop. I feel you. There. Look at your water, Spruce. <laughs> it's all frozen. That's like an inch thick frozen. That's crazy. Yeah. Now we did, we put in the heated water yes. over there. And Herc just got a drink out of it. Awesome. So they do have access to water that's not frozen throughout the night. And then we'll come and break it up and may have to get some more of those now that we have so many more goats. I think we just ran with the one last year. Yeah, because we only had two goats last year. Yeah, two Mario. Two goats and Herc. Mario, Weege, and Herc. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to get you guys some more heated water bowls, huh? What you think, big brother? Are the police coming for you, buddy? What do you think, Kirk? You better... You gonna tell him about it? You better tell him. The sirens get to him every time. You scared him off, buddy. Good job. Look at that curled tail, man. He's ready, <laughs> He's ready to work. All right, we just have to give Harry his shot first, and then we can get everybody out, okay? You included, little guy. So I think we've got a little bit of an issue with this guy that I am starting to chalk up to part of the problem and I'm totally blaming Blue. Uh, none of these goats ever touched Herc's dog food. And so we could leave it accessible to everybody and they didn't eat it, they didn't look at it, sniff it, nothing. Until Blue came along and she will get into the dog food, she'll eat it. So we're having to watch, you know, like how much is left in his bowl before we go back up or whatever. And now with Harry, he has learned that from his mother. If he wants more to eat for some reason, they will go eat that dog food. And so we watch him right after he's done eating. Sure enough, the little guy went over there and grabbed him a couple pieces and I had to run over and grab him. Little stinker. You are a stinker. That's so bad for you, man. You know, dad's only fought that with Batman for mm, Batman's entire life. We're gonna have to come up with something. And I think it's just gonna have to be, he drops his Snoopy on top of his food and then he's like, hey, I can't get down to my food. <laughs> but we're gonna have to come up with something, uh, just monitoring that a whole lot better and maybe even a different system, maybe bring him over here in a dedicated pen where we can take his food. He does really like it right there at the entrance to that goat palace, but uh, it's what's best for the rest. We may have to do that. He'll adapt, it'll be okay. Yeah. 
But, buddy, uh, we got to do something we're not super duper comfortable with, but we're going to do it, okay? I'm going to get a little shot in that neck. It's going to be better for you, okay? So they gave him his first shot on the right side and mentioned doing the other shot on the left side and then the third and final shot will go back to the right side. And there's a specific place. Ironically, uh, when I went to the vet with Dad and Batman, uh, we got some very, very up close and personal witness of a lot of stuff, but mostly, you know, I saw him do all the shots. I mean, all the shots. And on him, as big as he is, finding that specific spot was tough for them a couple times. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be quite the problem with him, hopefully. Hey, I just wanna give a little, a quick little update on him, on Harry. For one, he's chewing his cud. That is fantastic news. But for two, he's actually letting me sit here and pet him and he's not like cowering down or running away. I really think that he's starting to feel better. Um, he's been eating hay. I did try yesterday while Kyle was at the vet with his dad. I tried to go ahead and give him a bottle of milk replacer because he's been going up to Blue and trying to nurse and she won't let him. She She's done. done. Yep. She is done nursing these boys. And that's understandable. They're four months old. Yeah, they're but they're weaned. But he's really been trying. And so I thought, okay, well, maybe I can give him some milk replacer and a bottle. <clears throat> It didn't go well, guys. <laughs> well, he wasn't a bottle baby. I mean, and that's that was a big part of it right. whenever we bottle fed Spruce. Yeah. Was him learning how to take the bottle, you know, and you, I mean, a lot of trick. I remember the first, oh, yeah. I don't know how, like a week almost. It was a little bit of work, but Spruce saw the bottle and he was like, oh, is that for me? I'll take that, Mom. I'm like, no, I don't think so. So he, he didn't want anything to do with the bottle, but I did sit in the shelter over here with him yesterday and I hand fed him hay and he ate it. So yeah, he's been eating a lot of hay. I'm, I'm super pleased with that, I think that's good. Well, when I just picked him up to bring him over, I heard his rumen just churning. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, that's and great. that was a big thing we were waiting on for him to clear that poop tube yeah. so that then his rumen could get going again. And the alternative was we could have taken Larry or any of the other healthy goats and they could have gotten some of that fluid and transferred it to him to see if it kind of re-kick-started his rumen yeah. process, but. I think we got it, I think he got it started on its own. You ready for one more shot, little guy? Hmm, not really, but I guess if I has to. It's gonna make you feel better, I promise. We're not gonna film this part for you. I'm not, you don't need to see me trying to give him a shot. I'm not a professional at it, so I need to take my time and focus. And not everybody's good at watching people give animal shots, so right. you're welcome. All right, you know, shot administered. I'm gonna leave it at that. He doesn't like him. He's now hollering at Larry, Larry's hollering back. They're talking bad, talking trash on us probably is what they're doing. But I think he's in here kind of looking for some hay to nibble on. So this way we get to keep an eye on him, get him out, kind of see his intake levels. And I think it'll be good for him. You want to get everybody out? Yep. Mama leading the pack. Spruce doing his loner thing. I don't need all those goats. They're silly. Guys, super excited about this. So we might have scored some straw. A lot of people thought it was hay in our short or our reel, but it is straw, not hay. I wish we could have that much hay, but our, our church actually did a, put on a little fall festival the other evening. And Shannon and I were up there and it's a pretty big church. And a friend of mine that I grew up with is actually the youth pastor there. And he was kind of joking about the hay maze, straw maze that he had to put together. And I was giving him a hard time. So I was like, yeah, well, you know, I can see over it. The kids can see over it. Like they know right where they're going. Anyway, I said, what are you gonna do with all that straw? Thinking like, you know, a farmer would, right? And boy, he lit up like a Christmas tree. He's like, I have no idea. I was like, we'll take it. So <laughs> Shannon and I agreed to take the straw off their hands. And we- Thinking it was like 30 or 40 bales. Yeah. I just want to throw that out there. I told dad, <laughs> I told Chad, like, yeah, it was like 30, 40, maybe 50 bales. 159 bales of straw. Yeah, we totally underestimated how much was actually there. Which is perfectly fine. Yeah. It was actually kind of funny while we were loading it up. It was just Shannon and I, and uh, they were all, you know, most of them were still inside the building working. It was the next day, of course. And they would come out every so often like, hey, uh, guys doing all right? And of course we had to have our bibs and all of our warm gear on, but we could only fit about 36, I believe it was, on this trailer. Fortunately, we live pretty close to the church. So we were able to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, I think five times, six times, however many times it was. That's a lot of straw. So 
it's not good. This is not its permanent home. I know if we leave it sitting on the ground like this or it gets rained on, we're, it's, it's going to be useless. So I think we're going to load some up and share it with friends and family. And yeah, we can't go through that much straw before it would be useless. So we're going to try to be charitable and extend the church's gratitude and give it to other people that need it and can use it. But we were very, very blessed. Didn't have to pay a dime, just the labor to get it here. And they were very, very happy with it because they didn't have to mess with it. Did you tell them it was five trailer loads full? <laughs> I did. It's five, five or six. Yeah, whatever 159 divided by 36 is. Yeah, I think it ended up being five. This is exactly what we want. I have to tattle on myself. For the sake of filming, if you're filming a feeding uh, and your goats are used to grain, I don't think that's the feeding you want to skip. <laughs> so we gave them all a fraction of the grain they would normally get just to kind of get them to stop whining. Plus, if I let them out to graze and they didn't have any of their grain, they're likely to go right over to the feed buckets and just stay right there. Uh, it's happened before, speaking from experience. But this is exactly what we want to see. And even Ouija, you know, a lot of you guys, if you've seen every video or you see most of them or you see them sparingly, he's looking better. He's, you know, they are going through the hay this time of year, and I mean going through it. Uh, but Ouija is, there's a little bit less bloating. I don't know that he was lost much weight, and I don't know that he really needed to. He's just not as bloated. Uh, Blue, if you've been with us quite a while and you've been here since we got her, that girl, wherever she came from, I think all they did was pasture graze them. She's put on a little bit of thickness, which I think will help her in the winter. Larry, and this right here, that's the site for sore eyes, guys. When your goat is feeling ill or not well or sick or dying, if I'm going to be blunt with you, they won't do that. And he wasn't eating, he wasn't drinking, he was very lethargic, and I am seeing more activity out of him today than we've seen since this all began. And in fact, he's even, I mean, he's getting after it. In fact, yesterday we caught them down in Goatville uh, as we were coming back with one of the loads of straw, and he was right down there with them, but when they see us, a lot of times they'll run up to the pen because they want to see if we're going to come feed them, and then they'll go back down and start grazing again. Well, he made the trip up and back, but all the other goats ran, and he just kind of barely trotted. Today, I've seen him pick up a little bit of steam, and hopefully after this shot sets in a little bit, kind of like it did after the vet visit, uh, he really acted very normal. And right now, he's acting very normally. This is a great sign. Again, I'm not going to say that, you know, he's fully over whatever the illness was or whatever's going on. And of course, we've got to monitor his intake. We've got to monitor, make sure he's not eating dog food. But we're just, we're feeling pretty good about the state that everybody's in. And these little guys, man, they're not going to be little for much longer. And they are getting very, very close. We had somebody ask in the premiere and a couple commenters, I think, uh, when are they going to be banded? Because we are keeping them here on the farm and we're not going to keep them intact because we just don't need them to breed with their mother. And we're not getting any more does right now. But they're growing, man. Uh, I think they are just a couple few weeks shy of three months old. I got to go look at our dates on the goat shelter. But they're real close. We banded spruce right at three months. I believe it was right at three months. We did Harry and Larry right at three months. And that's kind of the common, you know, about the time they're done weaning. And I am seeing mama throwing them off a little bit sooner. She's doing a little less nursing. And they are eating plenty of hay. They're grazing like rock stars too. So we're all becoming big goats and it's about time for bands. And then the farm will be stable. Mr. Herc, uh, if he doesn't want to go somewhere. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, big guy. You've been taking mama everywhere. Yeah. Did you go and check on the birds and the hill? I didn't let him go all the way up to the birds, but he did go check out all of Nala's poop spots. Did you, or did you approve of all of them? He says I sniffed them all and moved on. Hey yeah, guys, it's, a, it's been a big eye opener to us, the difference in a working dog like him. I know, the side you see in these videos, he is a pet and he absolutely is part pet, but the man, is a natural worker and he does not let there be any 
fecal matter, any furs, feathers, anything on this land that is not from our animals. It's kind of gross <laughs> sometimes, but it's pretty incredible. <laughs> That's why when he gets out and we have him on his leash because we don't want him running off, which we will maybe work on that more now that he's closer to that period after he's been neutered. Yeah. Yeah. Or get a shot <laughs> collar. Old and... tail guys. Oh, so boy. Love you too, buddy. Total sweetheart here. But yeah, he's part pet, part LGD, and he's really good at both of those things. And he's big time protector. Yeah. Yeah, nobody, nobody else gets to do this. <laughs> Just Shannon and I. That's it. I promise you, you don't want to try. Yeah. Do, pretty lady. There he's gonna take a different route. He's just gonna hang out up here. So one of the things that Kyle and I kind of talked about recently was the insulation around the bottom of the camper and how the birds have just completely destroyed it. So on this end over here where the, the birds tore it all up, I think what we're gonna do is get it back up, kind of fix it, but then I think we're gonna take some of these straw bales and place it in front of the insulation so that hopefully we can use that as a wind barrier as well and to kind of help insulate the underside of the camper. And um, my hesitation was mice because we all know that hay and straw attracts mice. And then in turn that does attract snakes. But we ordered a, and Kyle may have already mentioned this, but we ordered a, a mouse repellent that basically is supposed to help keep them away from our area. It uses essential oils, so we'll see how that goes. It makes me feel a whole lot better about having straw around our camper because hopefully it won't be as inviting. I don't, it's so funny, the social media is like, they just, I don't know, they hear you. But I saw it on Instagram and I was like, hey, there's this allegedly, uh, it puts off an aroma. Um, we obviously will not poison mice and rats out here because we got too many animals. And uh, there's some other humane traps and things, but if we could just keep them out, you know, we don't want them moving into the camper because they'll tear up our toilet paper. If we put it down under the sink <laughs> in the bathroom, it's, it's so annoying. He's pulling me, sorry. Okay, well we can move that So we're way. gonna try these little packs and we'll let you know, this is not a sponsored thing whatsoever. It was just, it's a need for us. And so we ordered them. I think we just got them today, right? Yeah, that's what that package was. Yeah, that's fantastic. So we're gonna test them out and we have ways to find out because if we put toilet paper underneath the bathroom sink in there, it always gets destroyed by mice. And I'm sure you guys are all used to dealing with things like that, but coming from the city, we're not as used to dealing with things I've like I've never mice had a problem with and... mice. That's <laughs> never been a thing we've had to worry about. So, you know, um, we're figuring things out. Yeah. That is fantastic.
some cold water, isn't it, Hair Bear? It's got ice chunks in it. You can see he's keeping his tail up. He's had his tail down the last two or three days, but he's now keeping it up and that hunch in his back has come down, you know? Yeah, that's great. I really feel like he's, he's going the right direction. And Herc thinks I'm not going the right direction, so he's gonna pull me the right direction. <laughs> Come here, buddy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy, Herc. Hi, buddy. Well, guys, we are keeping a very close eye on Harry. I probably shouldn't even admit how often I check the cameras at night checking on him. <laughs> Excuse me. Herc is not done walking around yet. So. We'll definitely keep you in the know on Harry. I, I like what we're seeing today very positive things and it's just you know dad and i we're spending so much time talking and thinking and re researching like what's going on with batman what's going on with harry it takes away from a lot of the stuff we're doing out here but we've got it's it's just how it has to be right now yeah we've yeah. got to take care of sick animals and that's okay yeah i made a little progress on your shoppers you did make a little progress and i appreciate that <laughs> i made a little progress too i got some of the fiberglass insulation up and stapled yeah. in yeah Kyle ran some more wire for me. He's got a list of questions that I have to answer and write down my answers for. Yeah, otherwise I install it and then she comes in and she's like, that, that's not what I was thinking. Like, oh, I'm just kidding. I have not done that. She's not done that, no. It's I'm been a huge learning. Work. It's been a huge learning process, and it's, but it's been good. Yeah. It's challenging, I like it. Good, Yeah. very glad to hear that. Well guys, we appreciate you so much. We thank you for coming along on this journey with us. We love you, and as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. And thanks for coming along this Wednesday walkabout with us. Yeah, walkabout with the animals. That's me. I'm an animal. Yeah. I'm the, the best most one. handsome thing yeah, ever. The most handsome animal you got. Sure, sure. <laughs> Is it too bright for you? I'll be Let me get you some sunglasses, Herc. Oh, I'd love to put some sunglasses on you. Would you let us do that? You wouldn't, would you? No way. <laughs> Just floppy no lip over way. here. <laughs>